Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Diana, the Paper Pineapple, and today I'll be working in my 2024 Project Life album. I am working on week eight, and so I'll be using the Ellie Studio February kit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through my week. Uh, for this week, I'm only gonna use one side of the protector sheet, and this is um, one of these designs that well, it's a little different than I normally use. This one has a flip and it has a... Um, the pockets on this one are 4x6 um, um, portrait style, I guess I should say. They're like vertical, they're not horizontal. Um, I forget what the wording for the pictures are. <laughs> portrait mode or landscape. I, I don't know. I can't remember. But um, so the pockets on these ones are a little different. And I ordered these. I get this question asked a lot. Um, I get these protector sheets from scrapbook.com. They have a couple of different designs and, you know, just to mix it up here and there. And so, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take you through my week. Uh, the first three by four picture is a picture of us having breakfast um we went during this weekend we were at in anaheim for my daughter's cheer um, they participated in the nationals uh, competition and we stayed at the candy cane inn and so we had breakfast there and then the next four by six picture below that is a picture of a goodwill my daughter wanted to look for books and she's been looking all over tiktok the, all these cool deals that you can get at these books at these um goodwill stores to get all these fruit nice books so we happened to stop by before we left out of town there in anaheim and we struck out it was a really nice one but no luck there was another goodwill that we stopped by as well as we got to through central california and i think i think it was delino that we stopped at and we struck out again so my daughter did not have good su <laughs> success finding books but when we went to sacramento she found four good books and so it's a hit and miss um, but yeah, it was really cool going on these little um, outings just to see what they had. Um, the next picture underneath was a 3 by 4 picture of my daughter and I. And I used that card that said, um, I'm trying to remember now what it says. Um, something about, uh, I love your smile or something like that with a little happy faces. I can't remember now and I've already turned the page on that one. But <clears throat> I love that little card from the kit. So moving on, the two three by fours on top was a picture of us. We were heading into town and I had to charge my car there in Bakersfield area. And so we charged our car and then um, had some ramen at our favorite ramen place. And then the next three by picture, three by four picture besides that, <coughs> excuse me, it's a picture of my doggies. They were all sunbathing on our brand new uh, patio cushions they've already made it their home i thought that was cute so i put these little puffer stickers from um um yeah they were they were part of the, the add-ons and so i added these little hearts cute little hearts to it i love puffy heart stickers um and then i decide to go um uh, oh yeah, those two 3 by 4 pictures underneath there is a picture of my daughter. Um, she was really sick that weekend. I was pretty surprised that she was able to compete in the condition that she was in. Um, but I took her to urgent care and they diagnosed her with bronchitis. And so she had to have a nebulizer treatment. And um, <clears throat> so yeah, she was pretty sick. Poor kiddo. Had a bunch of antibiotics done, um, given to her. And so the next next three by four picture over, I used the Weathershot app. That is a free app that you could use. I like it because it, you know, kinds of it. It gives you the ability to take a picture and then it um, documents the time and the weather. And I just think it's a cool cool feature. So I like to use that from time to time. And that was just a picture that I took on our way back. My daughter took a picture of it while I was driving. Um, so uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I decided to add that. Um, the next on the right side, <coughs> excuse me, I have really bad allergies and I forgot to take my Claritin this morning, so I apologize. My voice is kind of, um, scratchy, I guess I should say. And I get this little tickle in the back of my throat and it makes me cough. Um, the 4 by 6 picture, I'm sorry, is a picture of my daughter, her and her boyfriend. She attended his first, her, his first game, home game. 
and um, he's on the varsity baseball team for my daughter's school and so that was really great and I wanted to document that. I used this cute little card here from the kit, the February kit, and I added a stamp that's also from the LA Studio, the one that says date and place. And I added the date and the place and then, <coughs> excuse me, the next two stamps underneath are from, I believe they're an older Everyday Explorer stamp set that says, um, I can't write what it says, do your thing. And then the other one was today's story that's also from the Ellie Studio stamp, that free stamp set that they gave to um, all other um, new monthly subscribers um, or monthly kits, I guess I should say. So um, I liked how that came out. Um, I love to stamp and I always forget all these stamps that I have. So I brought up my inks and I do like to use the Versafine Black Onyx ink. And um, on the top there, I decided to, um, the other 3x4 pictures, a picture of my watch notifying me that my heart rate was up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, I don't know, for some reason my heart rate was really high. I guess I was just, you know, fighting, you know, whatever I was fighting and it wasn't feeling good. It was kind of pretty miserable. I had been sick like that in a long time. Um... So uh, I do end up using a puffer, a puffy heart sticker there, and then one that says always my number one, and a puffy label sticker that says always by my side because those two are always inseparable. Um, every chance that they can get, they are together, but they're both great students and both do their sports thing, my daughters, and cheer, and her boyfriends, and baseball, and so they work hard during the week and on the weekend they hang out so they really do earn their time together and I love I love that um, here I decided that I would use these currently labels that are also part of um, add-on from the Ellie studio kit and I love um, I love how bright and different colors they are and decide that I would add that on my daughter's picture there on this picture here I decided to trim a little bit because it's a little bit on the, on the edge and decided that I would even these out. And I love this little um, die cut here that says yes to this. And then I just use this little clear sticker that said a yummy, um, or it says let's eat and has a little fork and a spoon, which is suitable because it was for our breakfast. Um, <clears throat> this three by four picture here is a picture of my post that I um, ad posted on Instagram my Thursday three and um, um, this left high, left side on the left side here I didn't know what to put I wanted to I really wanted to use this four by six but um, I didn't know what to put at the bottom so and I didn't have anything else to document but I did want to document about me being sick during the week and decide that I would use this card that says one of those days and I added the date <coughs> excuse me and um, just kind of document how sick I was and I was out of work for a whole week um, I'm usually not sick for that very long but I happened to have both what my daughter had and what my husband had my husband had a sinus infection my daughter had bronchitis and I got both so you can only imagine how miserable I was uh, with no sleep and just miserable fever for three days it was awful um, so glad that that's over and done with. Um, so I decided that I would just adhere this 3x4 picture on this 4x6 and so that I would document this on this side and use this little teal puffy heart sticker. And when I put it down, I decided, you know what, I should probably put like a sticker next to it. And I brought out my um, Tim Holtz small talk conversation um, stickers and I found a perfect one, um, but I kind of wanted. <coughs> excuse me I wanted it on the bottom and then put the puffy heart sticker on top and I kind of lifted it a little bit you can't really tell um, but decided you know I'm still gonna go with it. it doesn't bother me much so I went with that um, and then I pull out my a my Avery um, clear labels to add to this little flip up here so that oh it said this makes me smile <laughs> I couldn't remember what it said um, and then I just add some clear stickers to put on this little piece of paper here that goes inside the label so it's not um, bare. And then I just tuck that in there. 
um, really easy peasy and um, <clears throat> I really like these I ordered these on Amazon um, and they're very practical and I love how useful they are um, for this big I didn't get a chance to do my digital my 6x8 digital insert here so I will have to probably go back and do two weeks worth because um, I'm kind of behind on that um, but I'm looking forward to using it to making them I do I look forward to that um, for this right here I needed my my post my on Instagram and for some reason Instagram was down on I couldn't pull it up on my on my computer so what I ended up doing is I ended up having to um, take my phone and just looking it up that way because that's how I remember what I documented for my Thursday threes my post so I ended up just doing the documentation off camera but I do end up using these alphabet stickers and I put meh because I was feeling sick and miserable and then I just did my Thursday three I just got a white cardstock cut it up three by four just handwritten um, just use my own handwriting there Thursday 3 and then added these little till stickers to do my new my numbers 1 2 and 3 And that's about it guys. Oh, and then the 4 by 6 picture on the right side is a picture of my Galentine's happy mail package from my dear friend uh, Gloria here's who is Gloria scraps 2 here on YouTube and on Instagram um, Go ahead and give her a follow she surprised me with this beautiful happy mail pack package and so it was definitely documenting worthy so i absolutely love that anyway here is my finished layout i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like what you see give it a thumbs up if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing thank you so much for watching i do appreciate you and i hope you guys have a fabulous day hopefully i will see you guys in the next crafty video i will be trying to catch up and document week nine. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.